Hi, we are the AI team. We are members of Children's Parliament who have been learning about children's rights in AI. We're going to tell you about how AI is used. AI in education. Did you know that AI can help you with learning? Children use AI learning apps that can assist with maths, literacy and art. It doesn't only help you, it also helps teachers. So they can plan their sons quicker and will have more time to play with us. But sometimes AI gets information wrong and can make mistakes. AI in entertainment. AI is used in a lot of games and apps. AI can also predict what you like. For example, it can give you suggestions on YouTube or in targeted ads, which can be really helpful. However, when you use apps and websites, they can take your data without you knowing. Children have the right to play. Games add AI to them to make them more fun. If you don't have someone to play against, to stop us feeling lonely, AI will control non-playable characters. AI on healthcare. AI is used in healthcare to help find out about illnesses. This is called diagnosis. AI systems can detect some diseases even faster than humans. Sometimes AI can get it wrong and people can get more sick or the wrong medication unless a doctor checks it. Generative AI. Generative AI is short for generative AI, which can help with creating pictures, videos, text, etc. Gen AI can be fun and helps me come up with ideas for many things like videos, music and poems. However, Gen AI is not designed for children. It's not safe and sometimes it can generate bad words or inappropriate pictures. For example, you're telling AI to make a cute dog picture when AI shows you a scary picture. Did you know AI has a negative impact on the environment by the amount of energy and water AI needs? Thank you for listening. This is how AI can be used in our daily lives. Remember to use AI wisely. Bye!